Okay, uh, obviously your senior class last year won a lot of football games, put a lot of trophies in the trophy case, uh, but they're gone. How do you fill those holes and what is it like as you try to continue the momentum that Adam Central has built? It's just every day we got to come in with a mentality like we're going to do this, we can do this, and just work together as a team. What has you thinking positive thoughts heading into 2019 based on what you saw last season and this offseason for Adam Central? We, we have good team chemistry and we have guys that are willing to work hard and push themselves every day and just attack it when we have to attack it. And so much fun just watching them grow. As a senior, is it exciting to know, yeah, we graduated a lot of guys, but you can really put your stamp on this team as a senior class? Yeah, and it's, it's always fun to think about senior year. You want to go out, you want to have fun, and just you can actually leave a mark on this. Tell me some of the guys that are going to step into big roles for AC this year. Um, we got Dallas Schwaller stepping at quarterback. He's going to do good. Paul Froze stepping at center. He's going to do good. And we got we got so many guys just stepping up, just younger guys. Blake Hirely, Alex Curry, they're going to be two really good backs coming up. So I'm excited to see where that goes. What are you most looking forward to? Um, just building the memories and just having some fun every Friday nights at practices, at games, just becoming a closer team. A lot of talent graduated. How do you go about replacing that talent and knowing that you guys – have a target on your back based on what you've been able to do the last few years. Well, so the thing that we got going for us <clears throat> is that we got some young, we got some good young guys. So we got to, as our seniors, we got to be able to push these young guys to get out here and have that will to want to play so that we, we get that will to play and that will to win <clears throat> and so that we can uh, end up having a good season again so that we have those young guys to boost us along. Give me some names of guys that you think are going to fill some big roles this year. Uh, we got Alex Curry, Blake Hirely. Uh, we got some good young receivers, uh, Nick Newey and Chase Green. Those got some good guys coming off, uh, and Joe Collier coming in at tight end this year. When you take a look at this team in the off season, what about the off season has you thinking positively? Has you excited about this year's group? We just like even if uh, on our non mandatory practices, we got kids out here. We have we can fill out an offense and a scout D. We just have kids that are actually willing to come out and give up time in their summer. And that's something big because when it comes August when we have our two-a-days and we don't have play sheets and stuff like that, we got kids that already know plays, and so we got stuff to go off of on the beginning of the season. Um, over the last couple of seasons, you guys have, most of you guys have had a chance to watch this team grow and win and learn how to win on a Friday night. How do you carry that over? Do you feel like you can? I feel like we can. Uh, I've been blessed to play alongside some great people, like play uh, Brandon Shaneman a few years ago. Uh, we had Parker this last year as my uh, guy above me for quarterback. Mm -hmm. And like even just like the quiet people, it's like Logan Macklin. The kid never said much, but he just led by example. So we had we have a lot of leaders before us that we can just take off of and learn what they did, and just learn to push these young guys and win on for those Friday nights. As far as this Adam Central team goes, obviously you had a special team yeah. last year. How do you go about replacing a senior class that won so many football games and you know did it? the right way. Yeah, they, they did do it the right way, and I think that's going to be uh, something that they're going to pass on to these young kids. I mean, it's just totally different. I don't, you can't replace those guys. I mean, those are those are guys that, uh, in their own right, did outstanding and, and really took us far and, and were great leaders and great kids, uh, but they've passed that legacy down. You know, I mean, it's it's a whole new ball game for us as coaches. I mean, we, we joke around that we're going to have to coach this year because we got a lot of young kids. Uh, last year, we took it for granted. Those guys just knew what they were doing. Their experience took over, and we didn't really have to do much. We just tried to stay out of the way as mm -hmm. much as possible. So this year we really have to focus on our young kids. We're playing a lot of young kids, a lot of sophomores, a lot of juniors, and a, and a few seniors sprinkled in. And so we're going to really rely on them to to lead us through. And it, it you know, it's a building year for us. We're, we're not afraid to say that. We know that. Uh, but it's also something that I find um, exciting because it's something new. Last few years we've been blessed to have some great experience and some great athletes. Now we're going to build some of these young kids and these seniors know that and they're excited about that and say, hey, let's see what we can do by the end of the year. Uh, you know, Jay Sean, Logan, yeah. Parker, uh, even all the way down, even yeah. all the way down to Bailey. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. You guys are going to need some new names. <laughs> who are the new names? What positions are they playing? Who are the guys who are going to step into big roles for well, you? Well, I, th I think two of our uh, starters from last year are big: Ben Vorrell, uh mm -hmm. and Joseph Collier. Those guys are are going to be our ends this year on both offense and defense. Uh, those were were great bookends for us last year. Uh, we're going to look to them to lead this team. Uh, newcomer Dallas Waller, who's been you know under the under the wings of Parker Bates for a while. I think he's excited 
excited about stepping into the quarterback position. And we got some young guys. We got some sophomores. And uh, Alex Curry, I think, is going to be a, a good running back for us. Uh, Blake Hirely is as well. Both those guys are going to play defense for us. And so, so those are some of the names I think that you're going to be uh, seeing as we go through. One of the great things about high school is guys have to learn how to win. And although a lot of these guys haven't been on the field while you've been winning, they've seen what it takes. How valuable is that that they've, you know, gone to a semi-state game, they've won an ACAC championship in a league that continues to be tougher year in yep, and year out. Yep. Uh, huge. You know, we, we tell these guys from, from day one this summer as we, as we met, you know, uh, we we know that it's a building year. We know that you're young. We know that you're going to make mistakes. I think the legacy left by the last few years speaks volumes. We tell them we're at Central. We expect you to win. You know, we're not going to use the fact that you're young and inexperienced as an excuse. We expect you to play aggressive. We expect you to be competitive. And we expect expect you to win and so do the fans. So they know that, they know the expectation is there and, and I think that looking at what those seniors did last year, maybe they're not going to be as talented as that, but yet they do have it in their heart uh, that we're going to play AC football, we know what AC football is about and we expect that from them. Perfect coach. All right.